Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And it looks like you got one of the games off my, uh, like, to-buy list. You know I've got my own wish list too, right? I mean, yeah, I just, they don't always overlap all that much. Yeah. Well, that's not true. My, my list is pretty big. It probably does overlap and eclipse yours. Well, this is easy. On the Nintendo Switch. So, uh, Pro Jared play some of this for the computer at some point, so. Oh! I, uh, I stuck it on my wish list and I looked at some stuff online, like just a trailer for it or something, and it just looked really pretty. And, you know, I mean, it's got that anime style that I do enjoy. But I hadn't actually known anyone that had played it, so I was a little hesitant, because things can look really good in a trailer, and then when you actually start wiggling those control sticks, uh, it turns out it controls really bad. And, I'll be honest, this looks like the kind of game that either plays really good or really bad, with, like, very little in-between. Ouch. Oh. I like little robot dogs. <laughs> like tiny versions of the Ed unit from the Robocop. Oh. Use heavy attacks to break through shields. It's you, sent old man. Neat uh, enemy design so far. There's just a dead guy. A ball or something. Dead something. You got a little ahead of the tutorial, apparently. A little bit. Well, that's pretty cool. Extensive list of techniques. Very cool. I'm digging this hard light technology they got. It just visually it pops, you know. Definitely. Oh, hey, okay, what up? <laughs> that was a cool technique. Oh, he can do it too. Better. He didn't even explode. You just got him to go away for a second. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. Ah oh, man. <laughs> ah, he cutscened you. Jerk. One big one. One big one big bro. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's, that's bad.
Huh. Okay. That seems like something you tell us before the game start, but... Yeah, let's see. Contents of this experiment are not accepted. I wonder if that's them telling us not to record this. <laughs> if it is, I'm really sorry. Yeah, well. Thank you. So, we're testing a thing, I guess. I knew that IC is supposed to be like a computer program. Like, I was wondering if it was referring to like ICE, like in Shadowrun, you know, ICE. Like the. Oh, right the um, software designed to like defend against hacking or whatever. But you know, like I definitely got the impression that you're supposed to be like a Tron or, or Clue or <laughs> okay. This is going easy, bro. All because you care about story. I guess. Fool. Okay. Have to keep trying. In the middle of a dark, quiet yes. room, filled only by the sounds of it's humming machines, scary. a it's figure floats, talk. suspended. You wanted story. She, Icy, yes. has no memories. No it does make me wonder if you'd have picked hard mode. Memories to her. Would it just have launched you straight into more fights? Like her it doesn't bother with only serves one purpose: to kill Judas. Really that Whoa. wicked devil. The bringer of the apocalypse. No matter how many difficulties or he obstacles like a she guy. will face, Icy yeah. understands that she must accomplish her mission. Get around. I mean, if he already did the Destroy apocalypse. Destroy Judas. In the darkness, Icy awakes. I mean, I guess if it's all computery stuff, maybe there's a way to repair the disk drive afterwards. But you gotta get rid of what's already wrong. To get that command back. I see has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where. Oh wait, Judas is this gonna Stanley Parable us? I think so. I think we are in a Stanley situation. Icy has left the laboratory. She understands that as long as she follows Still only the arrow, thirty-eight dollars. She will discover where Judas is hiding. Oh, more soldiers sent by Judas to stop Icy. Kill them. Kill them. I like that that one decided to hang back and see how things worked out for its buddies. I mean, not a terrible plan. You had to press the button to get the things, otherwise you're going to be stuck at $65. Oh, oh no, no. That's, that's for... Oh, 
specials. Oh, is it for specials? I thought it was your monies. No. Nope. Get those on that. He reaches a quiet hill, illuminated by light dancing off of the lake below. She is at peace. Except that dialogue, literal fighting. I was gonna say that dialogue doesn't seem to fit with what's going on. Again, I, I definitely feel like we have an unreliable narrator. And if I didn't before, I definitely do now. What the heck is that? Oh no, some kind of punch man. <laughs> a ball unit from Gundam, but with, like, giant hands. Nice. <laughs> there seems to be a console that will activate the photon bridge. I see moves to activate it. Icy slips off the edge of the cliff. <laughs> Icy is absolutely positive that the only way to cross the ravine is by activating the photon bridge. What you want to bet? For some Wait, what about your dash reason, move? Icy oh, you insisted go. on jumping into the ravine. She didn't realize that she has to press a button to activate the bridge. Icy finally understands how to activate you the bet? photon bridge. You what? How did? <laughs> I do like that the moment we found a place that we could break from the narration, we just were like, yep, not listening to you. I was over pressing a The game's gonna figure out that Icy's an AI because it doesn't do what it's told and get mad. <laughs> A disgusting swamp rests, unmoving, in front of Icy. She must carefully jump across. Icy slipped and fell right into the sewage. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Lots of powers. I was gonna say, what feels like the power that's just gonna be your bread and butter through the rest of the game? I don't know, that one looks pretty good. Sacrifice HP to create a bunch of copies. Slash. Icy arrives in the moonlight forest. In front of her waits the ha. Wait, where's the bridge? On the bridge last time. Oh, hmm. the bridge. Right, just keep following the arrow. Bridge. <laughs> you are the bridge. <laughs> Whoa, what? How did you come in here? This. Something's wrong here. I see a ride at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. I see searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. Did you get into the house? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I'm glad the game isn't as linear as it looked. Cool. 
Man, you can practically fly with that. <laughs> Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. Look, I know you're trying to improvise, but I got a map to fill out. <laughs> Icy ignores yet another arrow and selfishly continues on her own path. Yeah. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. Oh, big centaur guy, look out. <laughs> I like it's very robotic horse noise that it makes when it charges. Oh, jokes. Everything takes a real beating in this game, I'm noticing. Short of doing some kind of special on him, it really seems like you have to wail on something to get it to go away. The gates to Ultimopolis are closed, just as promised. Icy has completely, totally, and unnecessarily wasted her time. Her only option is to follow the arrow. I don't know. First. <laughs> Gonna try and dash through the door before it closes, maybe? Ah, I'll go first. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Wanted to go down in the ravine, right? That was an option, yep. Oh, now you won't want to go. Might as well get all your upgrades done before you fight Thor or whatever. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to How follow can the arrow. You say that and not expect me to go. I mean, yeah. Have to go. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature. Just Not like devoid of money, though. Ooh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, again? Can't you just follow the arrow? At least once? I... Oh, well, well... This level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal. Like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Or textures, or... Don't look at me like that. I know what you're thinking. That you should have put in this In reality, water. it's really difficult <laughs> to make a game. And it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. Uh, so. The archive room. Welcome to the archive room. 
All of my prototypes are stored here. When making a good game, fun gameplay is of utmost importance. I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years. Can you believe it? That's an entire <laughs> decade. Here, let me show you my first prototype. This is a very early version of the game. You could change to a long range weapon so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks. <laughs> but then I thought, who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon? No player would want it. Not a single one. So, in the end, I completely abandoned this prototype. That brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and the player. You could absorb the enemy's powers and use them for your own. Like a Mega Man. But then I ran into a big problem. Cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? Only to run out of cash halfway through development? After you all, just do it games Yogo. do need to make money. So I cut this version as well. Unknowingly, ten years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. Just like the folks that I made Duke I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed is, so he is much eating. trying to make this a fun experience for you. I spent ten years. I can hear chips. This. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a five-star rating? Like this. Besides, who's gonna dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning. Buy it. The producer is famous. Buy it. There are so many reviews. Buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. <clears throat> Do you really beat all the games you buy? There Don't is call no need to call me out. Games like are this. about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. People will still buy the game, even if the servers are bad. Oh man, were you thinking about a gotcha mechanic? Is that buy what this the is? Game if there are bugs. So, man, why not buy another? All right, I mean, if this if this takes you to the e shop, I'm just gonna be like, what? <laughs> I would be, uh, yeah. Okay. After a minute, it doesn't sound like typing anymore, just because, like, it keeps going. Yeah. It's like when you say a word over and over, and then it loses all meaning, it just sounds like noise. Alright, well. Uh, so that was some version of Icy. Yeah, I don't know what build we got, I don't know what build you got, but that was, that was something. That was a thing that happened. Uh, thanks for watching, please... Like and subscribe, and we'll I check out something else. The laboratory. She understands yeah. that as long as she follows the arrow, she will discover where Judas is hiding. No, we're not going to do that.